Hi guy. Welcome to Fook VR channel. If you like my video, please, click like and subscribe to my channel, or buy me one coffee to motivate me to create more videos. If you prefer to watch in article form, visit my buy me coffee page to read it. With what you've discovered thus far, you recognize precisely how to read text from a screen and also just how to present it. The last point you require to make an entire screen is a button. There are lots of kinds of buttons in the Android globe. However, every one of them has one point alike, they can be clicked. Next, you'll see just how to carry out one and exactly how to handle the click actions. First, you'll make the primary button that you'd expect to see while logging in. Start by adding the following code to button UI. You aren't doing any activity in the code when the individual clicks the button. Nevertheless, you are using a vacant lambda expression as on click to maintain it allowed. To transform the background color of the button, you make use of the button default circumstances and call the button colors method on it with the wanted background color as a parameter. This method likewise enables you to change disabled background color, content color and disabled content color if required. You also use a border stroke to establish the background color and include a border with one DP and a dark primary. Each border stroke needs to specify a color and also its size. You can include them in numerous components, such as buttons, cards, as well as far more. Lastly, you include a text as the web content of the button, as you learned above, and set the text color to color white. The color component is one more part of the Compose framework that specifies generally utilized colors like white, black, gray, and more. Now, build and run the app. Now, look at the signature of a button composable function to see what it can do. Read about what each of the most critical parameters does to get a better understanding. On click, one of the most usual properties you'll utilize with buttons, this calls a feature when the individual clicks the button. If you do not provide on click, the button will undoubtedly be handicapped. Enabled, this allows you to control when a button is clickable. Elevation, sets the elevation of a button. The default elevation is 2 dp. Shape, defines the button's shape and shadow. With material theme shapes, you can choose a shape size, small, medium, or large. Border, draw a border around your button. Content, a composable function that displays the content inside the button, usually text. Again, there are many more parameters, but only the most important ones are listed for the sake of simplicity. Now that you know what's possible with button, you can create as many buttons, along with their borders and background colors, as you need. Next, you'll make a radio button or, more specifically, a group of radio buttons. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to get the latest videos, and don't forget to visit my page if you like the article type.